Hello everyone, this is Made by Sova and I'm showing you here my last or latest bigger project. Here down is a clothespin that I actually made myself just out of some random wire I had at house. It was a little bit stronger wire because I have no large clothespin so I just made one myself um, for this project to use and I just uh, added some on it to hang for decorational purposes. Um, I it's, it's a little bit chunky. It came out bigger than I actually, or, or fatter or chunkier than I expected. So I had to make some uh, bigger closure on it or different closure that I was actually planning to do originally. Um, here I'm still showing you the bottle cup that I just flattened with hammer and uh, put some flower in it. Here is, um, there was from the wire a dragonfly that I made. Um, these are just some tags. That's the wallpaper that I was showing you. That's an old wallpaper. And uh, this is just off cuts of the journals that are through the through this book later so i had off cuts and i didn't want to throw them away um maybe some of you already saw that uh, i have been actually making all these uh, fabrics and decorating the fabrics myself and also the papers um i will also have later in the video showing of uh, the papers and the fabrics the fabrics are actually just old jeans and old tablecloth and uh, somebody gave me uh, some old Halloween costume and I actually used that uh, fabric. It was really fluorescent pink color so I had to use a lot of ac acrylic paints uh, on it to, to get rid of that fluorescent color. Here is one of those uh, booklets I used, my rusty, rust dyed paper and um, echo uh, old leaves dyed paper for it. Um, so there is not really much space of journaling, but I added few things. So um, there is still a little bit place for uh, journaling. Here I'm showing that I actually, some of the tags I add some stuffing in because that's actually also was inspiration where I got for this whole journal. I think her name is Shabby Soul. I will put the link below. Her, her book is amazing. It's just so much more sophisticated than mine. She added so much more stuff. Here I just want to jump to this. I just added uh, also there uh, something hanging and it was bothering me that it was complete, constantly flipping up. So I just added one more um, clothespin to just hold it down. But then anyway, back, to, back to my inspiration, I was just totally inspired by her. She bought the fabric. Um, I didn't want to buy because I thought I want to create what I want or what I like. So I just created my own designs, my own colors. Uh, the The... Uh, fabric is not varnished. It's just really I use acrylic paint and I have uh, black uh, ink that I used for stamping on it and that's pretty much it as it is well. So here is a little corner that I just added for decorational purposes. It can be also removed. I, th I thought that it's, it's a fun to do there. I had some fabric le leftovers. I still do have some fabric leftovers. This is this flap is actually holding on the clothespins there and it can be removed, but I thought that it would give it a nice touch looking more grungy in this way. Uh, on the right side, um, there is, um, uh, I will be showing, there is, uh, I don't know how to call it, this top tag or, or thing. Uh, that is in uh, rusty colors. That's actually a clothes tag that I had from some clothes from the shop. And um, I just did some acrylic paints on it to create this rusty effect, some metallic colors, and just created everything my own. There are no special rusty paints or anything used. It's really just uh, acrylic paints combination. So um, 
I had it already for a long time um, made and I never found the reason where to use it or where to use it. So I thought it would perfectly fit here. There are also items that I got like this uh, circle uh, I received in some art swap from someone. So I added some more stamping on it and some sewing. This blue uh, stamp I received also from uh, some other crafter in some swap. So I'm using also stuff from uh, that I had already in the stock for a while. So just uh, added stuff on it and um, used it for this. Uh, this is pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in, uh, in the comments. I will gladly answer if you have anything. Um, I will show you now the um, little bit of the fabric. So you can see from the other side as I'm flipping that on the other side, it's just plain jeans or uh, tablecloths, you know, so some fabric uh, soaked the paint through and it got on the other side also. But this tablecloth, not that much and jeans really like nothing at all, as you can see. So I had just random cut, nothing, nothing like perfectly cut and created what I felt was right. And this also is um, just a watercolor paper, very cheap one, watercolor paper and me mixed media paper that I used for uh, painting and it's just a stenciling and painting, just something really basic. That's all. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.